Rapid published today, China, where are you? It's time to give information about the abode of mass detainees in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region. Amnesty International describes with clear evidence the tyranny and torture in East Turkestan. According to the Rapid, counter-terrorism laws have been adopted in March 2017, leading to an accumulation of mass arrests and deportations in camps. Two events were held in the Turkish city of Konya under the slogan Bleeding Round East Turkestan, both attended by the president of the Marif Association, Abdullahat Abdurrahman. In Australia too, the Uyghurs were given a voice. A photo exhibit in Adelaide, compiled by Yugo Women, shows once again what the people of East Turkestan suffer under the communist regime. Venezuela's president orders the cabinet to resign from public office if a situation requires it. Venezuela is currently experiencing a difficult crisis under Maduro, which is further complicated by a US-backed opposition. President Maduro is now seeking to implement fundamental changes. The magazine Counterpunch accuses the American government of driving the country into ruin through high military spending. The research of the open government movement seems to support this accusation. During the First World War between 1915 and 1916, the Battle of Gallipoli took place. The Entente powers together strove to conquer the peninsula for military purposes, but failed at their defenders. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk and his companions changed the course of the battle. <laughs>